take a poll. I mean, Morris. Pretty charming. <laughs> yeah. Is not he? He's like the, the guy's like silk. Yeah. My wife is in love with him. <laughs> right, Cammy, you're in love with Morris Chestnut. <laughs> She's got a thing for Morris Chestnut. <laughs> <laughs> so what's happening? So like the hashtag. <laughs> yes. 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 Don't kill Sean Bean. Oh, that was all TNT. Yeah, but I can't. Someone inside TNT, I don't know. But it's a great idea. Someone's gonna get a promotion. It's it's always David. If it's a good one, it's my idea. If it's a bad one, it's his idea. Are you gonna try to get around it by killing off one of the legends? Well, he does. I said, are you gonna get around it by killing off one of the legends? I think that's a great way to kill Sean Bean and not kill Sean Bean. Yes, exactly. What happened? Um, well, the thing is, is it, it, yes, in many ways, uh, uh, Sean Bean's, uh, the, uh, you know, Martin Odom's legends do at times, uh, uh, they get burned and he has to say goodbye to him. And, and it's interesting, uh, you know, in this show, that's an emotional thing for him because he fully inhabits these characters. He sort of has to bury them. He has to say goodbye to them. He, he uh, you know, to, to, to Martin Odom, these were... Uh, you know, this was a, a, a legend that had a family and had a, a you know, he had a, a wife and a, a, a kid and, and he'll never go back to them again, even though he, he kind of, in his head, lived with those people and cared about them and, and uh, you know, felt for them. So it's, it's an interesting kind of psychological uh, character study. Every legend is kind of a, a cool study. What makes this show different in terms of like burn notice and Andy's kind of that small parents take on the day when she becomes a mom? Well, I think the, the biggest uh, difference is uh, just sort of the concept of legends in and of themselves is, is they are, um, they're kind of these pre-existing identities that he steps into and steps out of, but they continue to exist. You know, we're not doing, uh, we're not doing a, um, a legend of the week, if you will. Um, these are, are deeper stories that, that um, play over multiple episodes, and, and he lives in that legend over multiple episodes and uh, yeah. I, I think that's the big that's probably the biggest difference between uh, between those shows I don't think any of those play- characters ever asked who am I and that's, that's really what difference. it comes down to and, and, uh, and so it becomes a mystery of the kind of, uh, uh, of that you know, Martin is locating himself and then and then even locating a deeper question which is if I'm not Martin Martin then uh, then a, who am I? But not just the biography of who I am, but what about this kid who I... I know that emotion is real. That's real. And this wife who I feel it for, that's real too. And so it really sort of makes you deconstruct and reconstruct the question of who, who am I? And that's what Martin's doing. This notion of identity is, 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 is really the, the core theme of, of the show. And we try to chime that in every episode as he, as he asks this question, who am I? And the, 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 the answer to, to, you know, to who he is is, is you know, we, we sort of... I don't you know. I, I'm not going to say. I'm not going to say anything about uh, uh, where we go to. But the idea is, is that you know, uh, for someone like Martin, uh, uh, beginning to raise this question of, am I actually living a legend? Is Martin Odom a legend? And, uh, and it's a huge kind of launching off point for a guy who, who needs to get to needs to get to the answers. Obviously, we have a lot of different characters with a lot of complicated backstories that we haven't seen yet. But since the focus is on Martin, and he gets a big question, that's the push. Are you sometimes a little conflicted because you want to put somebody who's like, interesting tick here in, in an episode? Is it hard to find a balance between you know, the, the, the main thrust of the story and sort of actually having depth at, at the supporting character? Well, you all, I think you always have to strike a balance between, you know, sort of the plot and the character, uh, you know, of the story is, is but it, when we discussed it at the beginning, we always said, like, this is a show that's driven by character, not the case. And we really wanted that question of, you know, the who am I to really um, resonate throughout. So even if maybe he, he steps so fully into his legend that he's not thinking at that moment, 
oh, I may not be who he, you know who I am. He actually he knows who he is in that no. moment, you know, and and so, but it's it's when he comes out of it that he starts he starts cracking and he starts falling apart. So we're able to kind of do both, I think, in in um, and, and I think we found a really good balance. Yeah. I think as we, as we went and the question is, how do you take a show like this, and how do you know how fast to go, how slow to go? What will you know? Uh, it's it's a it's a it's a, it's a, it's a challenging recipe, and uh, I think David has found great, just the right temperature and the right tone. And I think one of the really again I I, I can say I can chew his horn having not this was his idea, but it was really grounding this idea which could be cheesy very very easily. And David said I don't want this to be cheesy. I, you know I don't want anyone that stuck a chip in his head, I don't want to, you know, uh, but, so it really does come from character and pathology, so we pathologize that the occupational hazard of this deep cover operative who is the best at what he does. Make it as psychological as possible, and, and, and not, uh, you know, yeah, but not mechanical, that's, I think that's, that's a good way of putting it, yeah, and um, so, and as well, kind of giving the stories enough room to, to breathe so that credibly we would believe that he could infiltrate and, and he could kind of get into it and everything. And even still, I think the stories move really fast. They're not slow, you know? So, so I'm guessing your plan is not to reveal the idea of, like, the central identity of the show in this first few episodes, but how soon will viewers get us Well, fairly, I mean, fairly quickly, I think you, we get on that ride, and, and um, you know, even when he's working a case or, or, or he's stepping into another legend, we're always sort of chiming kind of what what is at the back of his mind in terms of, uh, the, you know, this question of who am I and everything, but, but um, that question really is what's driving this season, and um, what's interesting about, I think, a, sh- a show like Legends is that, um, you know, his character is, in essence, sort of a, a Russian doll, uh, you know, of sorts. Is, is you think you're talking to Dante Auerbach, and you open that up, and there's Martin Odom. Well, what happens, you know, you, you open up the Martin Odom doll, like, is there, what's, what's there? And is that really the last, you know, the last uh, um, piece of the puzzle? So, it, it, it really is a... Um, it's a high wire act too. It's a, it's a high wire act, and it's also like it, it, it has endless possibility in terms of uh, where this identity question can go. 